Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl Faith. Here we are teaming together as we step out with faith to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and our social wholeness. This is Escape Forever Free. Welcome. If you're joining us for the first time, welcome, a special welcome. And I invite you to please go ahead and click the bell icon and join our team. We are now doing our Kickstart devotional guide. That's what this video is dedicated to. So as we give you a push start, a push start to your healthy habit of spending one solid hour with God each and every day, you and God alone as you seek after him and he reveals himself to you. That's what this video is dedicated to helping you to build in your daily routine. So go ahead, click the bell icon, stay with us and receive this support. We also have other videos that helps to guide you in healthy habits. So you can check out the videos on juicing, for example. We have previous videos on exercise. So you can check out those videos and be educated on exercise and some of the reason why it is necessary how to build a healthy exercise routine etc all right so we will now pray and get into this kickstart video to guide and to support you into building that one hour alone time routine with god let us pray father we thank you for another occasion that we can invest in our one hour alone time with you we pray for your blessing and your anointing and your consecration upon each and every one of us committing to this healthy habit as we invite you to draw near to us and make us perfect like you which is in heaven oh our heavenly father we pray and look forward to this fulfillment in jesus's precious name amen so this morning's devotional guide is going to be our kickstart from um is going to give us the kickstart and it will come to us from maranatha devotional guide just before we get into it let us recite our memory text let us practice our memory text which we will try to recite on friday so every week we commit one to memory this week's memory text is coming to us from genesis 47 and verse 27 and it says, And Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, and they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly. Again, Genesis 47 and verse 27. And Israel, Israel dwelt in the land of Egypt, in the country of Goshen, and they had possessions therein, and grew and multiplied exceedingly may god help us to commit this to memory and help us to recall it in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls even our very own in his own timing the title of this morning's maranatha devotional kickstart guide that we're using is the sabbath in the hereafter the sabbath in the hereafter and the key text supporting this morning's devotional guide comes to us from Isaiah 66 verses 22 to 23 and it reads for as the new heavens and the new earth which I will make shall remain before me saith the Lord so shall your seed and your name remain and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another and from one sabbath to another shall all flesh come to worship before me saith the lord now the reading the sabbath in the hereafter in the beginning the father and the son had rested upon the sabbath after their work of creation when quote the heavens and the earth were finished and all the hosts of them in genesis 2 verse 1 end of quote the creator and all heavenly beings rejoice in contemplation of the glorious scene 
quote, the morning stars sang together and, the, and all the sons of God shouted for joy. End of quote. Job 38 and verse 7. When there shall be a, quote, restitution of all things which God had spoken by the mouth, of all his holy prophets since the world began, end of quote, Acts 3 verse 21, then the, created, the, then the creation Sabbath, the day on which Jesus lay at rest in Joseph's tomb, will still be a day of rest and rejoicing. Heaven and earth will unite in praise as, quote, from one Sabbath to another, end of quote, Isaiah 66, verse 23, the nations of the saved shall bow in joyful worship to God and to the Lamb. The nations of the saved will know no other law than the law of heaven. All will be a happy, united family clothed in flesh clothed sorry all will be a happy united family clothed with the garment of praise and thanksgiving over the scene the morning stars will sing together and the sons of god will shout for joy quote and it shall come to pass that from one new moon to another, from one Sabbath to another, shall all flesh come to worship before me, saith the Lord. Quote, the glo end of quote, new quote, the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together, end of quote. New quote, the Lord will cause righteousness and praise to spring before all nations. End of quote. New quote. In that day shall the Lord of hosts be for a crown of glory and for a diadem of beauty unto the residue of his people. End of quote. So, so long as the heavens and the earth endure, the Sabbath will continue as a sign of the Creator's power. And when Eden shall bloom on earth again, God's holy rest day will be honored by all beneath the sun. Quote from Isaiah 66 and verse 23. From one Sabbath, to another end of quote the inhabitants of the glorified new earth shall go up quote to worship before me saith the lord end of quote this morning's devotional reading sabbath in the hereafter is making it very plain and clear that in the earth made new we shall keep the sabbath and it shall be kept holy just the same. We shall appear in person before our Lord and Maker to worship. And of course, Jesus Christ will be there with us. This is a beautiful thing. And of course, it's going to be a much more beautiful environment. So if worship on earth, when the Holy Spirit imbues us, can be so beautiful, can you imagine? what that sabbath is going to be like each sabbath in heaven when we stand before the glory of god and bow our knees to worship i am definitely excitedly looking forward to this experience i hope that you can catch this excitement let us go to our motivational hymn as we continue to think upon these heavenly things. Our motivational hymn for this week comes to us from the old hymnal, number 624, just over the mountain. We are going to do stanza two and the refrain this day. So, 
let us go to it those who enter the city are those sorry in the rows of the prophets we have long been told of that wondrous city with its streets of gold now that raptured vision we can see it there with its walls of jasper and its mansions fair we are going home we are never home see the splendor gleaming from the tombs afar see the glory streaming through the gates ajar there we soon shall enter, never more to roam. Hear the angels singing, we are nearing home. We are nearing home. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, thank you for your reminder that heaven will not only be beautiful, but will continue to honor the Sabbath day. May even now we practice to honor your Sabbath day. So in heaven, we will be ready to honor it and it will continue to be a pleasure. Have your own sweet way and guide us through the rest of today. And thank you for the daily bread. May all of us who have received it be blessed and edified in Jesus name. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Give unto Caesar what is due unto Caesar, and unto God what is due unto God. Walk good, but above all, please, walk with God. One love.